How you doing? Mike Corinde here, Trailer System Trainer. We are at the Indianapolis OC. We, I am with Max Gonzalez, and we are going to be going over panel sectioning. Please refer to Service Bulletin 7138 for written instruction. And make note that panel sections will be a minimum of 18 inches and up to 36 inches in height. If a longer section is needed, replace the entire panel. Now let's identify the area for repair, take pictures, and attach them to the work order. Now grab your chisel bit and let's start shearing off rivet heads. Now grab your quarter inch drill bit and drill into the rivet about halfway. I found that by modifying my punch bit in this manner, using a grinding wheel, really helps to be able to get into that panel and get that rivet to come out. There's the rivet popping out, and you're only doing half the post, so that's what it looks like from the inside. Now it's time to grab your pry bar, and with some gentle persuasion, use that to get the post away from the panel, so that way we can drop the panel down a little easier. Now if you haven't done so already, now would be a good time to go ahead and take your measurements and make your markings in between the rivets and go ahead and grab a straight edge and make that nice, perfectly straight line in between your posts on your panel. And now that you've got your panel marked, you're ready to cut. Using a circular saw or a sawzall will help with this. I wanted to take a minute while Josh is doing the cutting here to mention that this is a two-piece high base rail system on this trailer and we did have to do a high base rail section and I did not have the chance to include in the video removing the rivets of the high base rail which is something more than likely you're going to have to do when doing a panel section. That being said, here's the panel being removed and just wanted to make note, take care to not cut deeply into the posts. You may nick them a little bit, but you just don't want to cut them in half. Now it's time to take some measurements. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Left, center, and right. Here's the part number for our uh, high base rail Wabash panel. Here's some of the items you're going to need to cut that panel, and make sure you get those measurements correct. Here we go. Let's do some cutting. Now that you got your panel cut, it's time to do a test fit. Go ahead and put that panel into place. Make sure that it's secure. Check your measurements and recruit some friends if necessary to hold it into place. While you get out your quarter inch drill, drill a hole, grab some quarter inch nuts and bolts because we're going to secure them from the inside out or outside in depending on location to make sure that the panel does not move when you flatten the post and prepare to buck rivet. Now that the panel is installed, gently flatten the post with the appropriate tool. Here's a look at what the panel looks like all bolted up. And now since we had a new high base rail installed, we had to go ahead and draw a chalk line and make marks for where our rivets were going to go. Let's get those drilled out. Now let's talk about the splice plate. Here's the part number for it. Note the pattern. Well, we only had one in stock at this particular location, so we had to cut some strips out of aluminum panel. And that's okay if that's all you have to work with. Just remember to apply a uh, bead of Sikaflex in between the panel sections for a watertight seal. Here's the uh, strip bolted and ready to be buck riveted into place. Note that the posts are shot from the outside, whereas the panel is shot from the inside. Now if you listen closely, you can tell the difference in pitch between when the rivet is being shot, when the bucking bar is on the rivet, and when it's released from the rivet.
use the proper length rivet for the area of the panel you're working in. Now it's time to finish up the job and go ahead and apply SikaFlex to any areas where needed. And remember to take your after pictures and attach them to the work order. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe.